everybody, Nostalgia Scott coming to you guys with part 15 of Spyro Enter the Dra uh, Year of the Dragon, not Enter the Dragonfly, part of the Reignited Trilogy. So, we're, we made it back hey, to Fireworks Spyro. Factory, where we have to play as Agent 9 now, and this is... We play as them two more times. Hi, Agent 9. Behind those doors are some pretty scary ninjas. I bet you could use your sharpshooter skills to take them out. Remember... Press the attack button to shoot, and use the roll left and roll right buttons to dodge left and right. Wait a second, first of all, why is it spelt white instead of right? Because they're making him seem like he's talking slower. But isn't that the same voice actor who plays Morgana in Persona 5? I'm pretty sure that's the same voice actor. So we have to find this power up, and I always forget where to find it, because that's one of the last remaining skill points, right? Fireworks Factory, Desert Ruins, Haunted Tomb, Dino Mines, and Dino Mines. Yeah, it's one of the last few. Wait, there's gems here. Yeah, I forgot, you don't have sparks. Like, you have sparks, but he's like a... He's like a health bar, and I, for some reason I thought it was like RT to shoot. Despite this not actually being a first-person shooter. Oh, those stupid ninja summoning boxes, man. They're so annoying, but... Wait, wait, wait. Why are there, like, ten ninjas in this room with me all of a sudden? Wait, don't tell me... Are you guys spawning from... How are they spawning all the way from over here when we haven't even been here yet? Wait, did that ninja spawn after it was destroyed? Game, that's not how life is supposed to work. But I know for a fact that that's the button right there that we need to shoot. And there's this power up. Which I believe is just rapid fire. It's nothing special, but still, we got the skill point. And I do like that fact that we can see the gun. Wait, did we grab the gem? I guess we did. It just. I don't remember these guys spawning as fast as they do in this game. Wait. They weren't spawning, they were just jumping down. Wait, how did that not hit me either? What are these ninjas doing? They're like, acting weird. Yeah, this is rapid fire, because it doesn't do any more damage to anything. Wait, 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 what? What are you doing behind me? Yeah, and then there's going to be these ninjas up here. Also, my controller's been kind of having a stroke lately where it just, like, doesn't like to connect properly. So all of a sudden I'll lose audio or I'll lose connectivity, and I don't know why. And it doesn't matter which controller I use. So I don't know if it's my Xbox's, uh, uh, whatever you want to call it, that causes your controller to connect or something, but it's just annoying. Wait, is the only thing in here health? Like, I'll take it, but kind of weird. And then you actually have to do two parts to this. The second part is a lot shorter and has a lot less enemies. But still, oh, here they come. See, in the original, you were able to see the shadows before they jump down. In this game, you can only see the shadows when they're jumping down or when they're on the ground. There we go, and they're all dead. And once again, no gems in here, really? We have lack of gems in a lot of these places. Apparently that dropped a gem. Really? It gave me the health instead of killing the enemy? Stupid enemies. Thank you for the big chunk of gems. Just get down here. Wait, did that miss? Really? Well, now he's dead. Stinking ninjas. Grab the gem, Agent 9. I was gonna say Sparks, but I'm pretty sure he... Sparks was supposed to still function on the... in this level. Okay, we need to show that box over there. There we go. That way the enemy stopped respawning. We have just a little under 100 gems to go, but there's still got a few gems considering how little we actually get here. And, speaking of the fact that we're already at an egg... Eh, 
actually, I guess we'll only be missing, what, 65 or 65, 55. So our first egg is Patty. I wonder if the, ne if the next is going to be Selma. Oh, I guess he's being strapped to a bump. Wait, did you see that? I was rotating my camera and then it turned me around back to... Look at the original spot there. That was weird. Wait, Ninja Box? Thanks for the gems, I guess. Well, this is a lot more ninjas all of a sudden. It's a lot of uh, ones with fireworks or rocket launchers or whatever you want to call them. There we go. Sheesh. Wait, I didn't mean to fire twice there. Just fired twice. Yeah, the whole annoying part about this level is essentially the ninjas just come back. That's about it. So, why did they strap a cat kid to a rocket, man? That's kind of dark. There we go, you're all dead. There we go. Rapid Fire does make it good for going through groups of enemies, though. Uh -huh. Wait. Are you serious, guys? Like, really? What was that? Like, the camera is really weird here. Like, it feels kind of janky. And not sensitive enough. Also, wait. I have full health again, but I didn't eat that butterfly. Weird. Not the health, you turd. Wait, that was a one-up. Don't mind if I do. I love how Sparks doesn't even make, like, the uh, sound for eating anything in this. It's like Sparks is just a wall. God, these enemies are relentless, man. Wait, if there's enemies in here again... Oh, never mind. I guess there's nothing in here. That's a lot of enemies, though. Wait, did I miss a gem? In this area, or what? Pretty sure I didn't miss a gem in this zone, did I? Well, at least we get the egg. Oh yeah, you have to shoot him for whatever reason. That's just weird. Thanks for rescuing me. You'd better look after this egg before the Rhinox try to blow that up too. That's definitely Morgana, and thank you for Donovan. Okay, we gotta hop out here though, just to see where the gems are. No, the gem is in here somewhere. And I don't think the enemies can respawn, so... That means whatever gem we're missing is somewhere in the vicinity. Should be a pretty casual stroll now that everything's dead, but... Still, you know, it's kind of just a bummer that we have to do this. I know for a fact that there's no gem in there. But it could be over in this little alcove, though, and it's not. Now, where is this stinking gem? And where do I find it? Like, I'm not seeing a single gem. The fact that you can't track them, like, once you're in here, is really annoying. Okay, gem. Come and show yourself. Oh, it's right there in the blue. And there we go. We 100% the level. So, now we can go to Midnight Mountain and go and do one of the levels here. None of the levels, except for like maybe one or two, are particularly long. So, yeah, we'll go here next. We'll probably do Haunted Tomb, not Haunted Tomb, Desert Ruins, just because it's a pretty short, linear level. And none of the challenges here are that difficult. So, let's go to Desert Ruins as our next level. I believe... Th is this the last money bags level? 
This might be the last money bags level. Hello, you must be Spyro. I've heard a lot of people talking about all the things you've done for them. Do you think you could help find my girlfriend Tara? She went off to raid the tomb of the stone golem, but I haven't seen her since. I'd go look inside the tomb myself, but, you know, there's all these scorpions. What a wuss puss, man. Oh yeah, I forgot to shoot you. Also, I forgot that the enemies are going to drop gems again. This level feels more... Like, less colorful than I'm used to. Wait, he hit me? He's not supposed to be able to hit you up above like that. Come on. These guys can also be headbutted if you want to, or charged. I keep calling it headbutted, but it's charged. The music here is kind of interesting, but it just like, it feels like it's, even in the original, this level felt kind of weird and out of place, especially compared to the other levels in this world. Tip for these guys, just wait till they shoot their fire and then flame them. But don't pull a me. And there's a skill point here for all the seaweed, and you're probably wondering, well, how could there be seaweed in a level like this? Well, you'll see eventually, because this level doesn't really scream seaweed. <sighs> that enemy didn't drop gems, but I see why, because he's on a sinking platform. A lot of the time they won't put gems on that stuff, and we're pretty much at the end of the level already. The end of the level is just through that door and a little ways in. Yeah, that would essentially be it. Like I said, this level's not very long. It's also not very hard, either. It's a pretty simple, short, easy level. Oh, it's you that I heard. Whatever the heck you even are. Like I said, I feel like they put a lot of detail into Spyro 1, and then, like, look at this game. It's just... They put rocks around it to be like, yeah, there's rocks here. If you want the achievement for here, though, it's to actually flame all the, uh, the one-up butterfly jars. That's all you have to do. Simple as that. And there's an egg just chilling right here. We got Andy! Oh, he's allergic to me. Get away from me. I don't want your sneezes on me, you stinky dragon. Thanks for all the gems. And I'm pretty sure the key that we need for the chest also just happens to be around here. And there's also another egg literally right here. Now we have Nelly! Aw, oh, Nelly turned into a nerd. Such a nerdy little dragon. And look, a secret that's not very secret. Kind of actually really simple to see. Filled with lots of big gems. And lo and behold, the key. That we can now go back and get instantly. And yeah, my controller is having a stroke. It's not acting as sensitive right now. So turning's a little more difficult. And it keeps the audio keeps cutting out. So, if you see me do anything stupid, that's probably why. My controller just... I don't know what's been up with it lately, but it's annoying the living daylights out of me. Because I'll be playing like an online game with people, and then all of a sudden I'm just running in a straight line because my controller died. Despite the battery being full, and yeah, I know, Xbox is lame that way, but... I don't know why Xbox still hasn't come up with, like, better controller ideas and... Ow! My controller made this loud crackling sound in my ear, and then just stopped functioning again. Like, what the heck, game? Er, controller? Oh, really? Now you're gonna do that? Oh my god. We need some health before I try and get that money up there. That really hurt my ears, though. The taking damage was less of an issue than the loud, deafening sound effect that I had in my ear. Can I get there from over here at all? I'm pretty sure you're supposed to be able to go around. At least I thought you were able to. Maybe not. Did the... My hover just straight up didn't work. Of course it didn't. Why wouldn't it? I'm pretty sure you were supposed to be able to do this without having to do some risky jump, because I don't remember this jump being half as annoying as that. 
Oh well. Really? And the checkpoint was all the way back here? Don't tell me I have to destroy the fire guys again, really? Yeah, my, my, my controller is having a freaking stroke, man. It's just not functioning properly. I've never had it when recording. I've had it when playing games before, but... I don't know what's going on with my controllers lately, but they're just not up to snuff. Also, how long am I supposed to get to that? That would be the only way. Anyways, let's go to Hi, the Sheila Farrow. part. Haven't seen you in a while. I'm just off for a bit of a walkabout right now. You know, sometimes you just long for the simple, old-fashioned pleasures of yesteryear, don't you? Yesteryear? Going for walks is yesteryear? You don't go for walks normally, Sheila? You're a kangaroo. Actually, you're not even really walking to begin with. And that didn't even stun me. I just took damage and that was it. Whoa. Wait, I've... When did they start attacking before they're even on screen? I swear something's wrong with the game today. And not just my controller. But there's also two eggs in here as well. Are you serious? That health was taunting me by being off screen. Well, it wasn't off screen, it was like not in my plane of existence. Oh god almighty. Lester. Oh god, the names we could come up with for that guy. Ah. Oh yeah, if you destroy them though, it t counts as the entire thing being destroyed, so. Or the fire stopping, so that's a good thing. That was unfair. I had no control over that at all. Like, there was literally nothing I could do about that. That I could destroy. Oh, sheesh. Oh no, more sinking platforms. And that's it. That was literally it. Pete from the Goofy Movie. That's 123 eggs. One, two, three. Now, how am I going to get that, though? There's got to be a, an easy way to get that. I really don't remember it being that difficult to get. Maybe I just have to reach the higher peak up here. Uh, uh. Now, can you hurry up and do your flame thing? Yeah, because like, when I turn my camera, it feels jarring and not smooth like it normally is. No, because you can't get to the hand from that side. You have to specifically be over here. But why won't it let me get there? I'm so confused with why it won't let me get there. See, like, it, it, it kind of makes it, and then he just slides down the slope of the hand. Darn hand curvature. Man nuggets. There we go. Sheesh. That is like cutting it close. And that's not even a lot of gems here. And Sparks doesn't even pick up the last green gem, my lord. Oh, look, it's money boogs. Yay. Well, Spyro, I bet you're glad to see me. It just happens that I know the uh, password to open the door to the tomb of the stone golem, but it seems to have slipped my mind for the moment. If you know what I mean. You're bribing us. <laughs> Very well then. The password to open the tomb is... Are you ready? <laughs> Gullible! Mm. Die, money bags, die! Darn scorpions everywhere. Aw oh, man, I had to take damage from one or the other at that point. Alright, not missing anything good. Eh, who cares about you? Die! I wonder if they're the stone golems then, since this is Tomb of the Stone Golem. Hey, look! Hey, 
Hey, it's um Tara, Tara Croft instead of Laura Croft. How did that needle miss me? That was weird. I don't remember if there's any gems. No, there's no gems in here. Well, might as well grab our egg from her. Then I think we're only missing one. Well, well, look at you. Showing up here to raid the tomb after I've done all the hard work. I've spent all day pressing switches and shoving boxes around. And you just waltz in here expecting to claim the treasure. Well, you might as well have it. It's only a lousy egg anyway. Thank you for Marty McGraw. But, um... Funny thing is... There were no switches or anything. There, I don't know where you've been, but like money bags was in there. Also, the camera angle is supposed to go up a little more to see what you're doing, but yeah, they bugged that out. Oh yeah, and then we gotta go over here. And if you didn't have the achievement, this would be the achievement. All right, now we gotta go all the way back up here. Just because there's a 25 gem down there, go figure, right? And then, you gotta go over here. And lo and behold, underwater section. Now, I recommend, uh, well, actually no, I guess you technically have to ride the manta ray. You can grab most of the gems though, but the seaweed are these things right here that aren't even attached to the ground, oh my god. Seriously, game. That's that's a bad look. I've been training my new pet manta ray to carry the latest technology. Super high impact underwater missile launchers. Wanna ride them and try blasting some sharks? Sounds mean. Just watch out for the shark riders. They're carrying the latest JX5 underwater tracking ammunition. How would you know this? Also, why are they why are they using these? Yeah, just go around destroying the seaweed and stuff and all that. Don't really focus on the enemies just yet. I think if you get hit once, though, you lose, right? I'm pretty sure that's how it works. I love how the seaweed that's not attached to the ground proper. Oh, now it's attached to the ground. But it playing a spyro, it's just like, no, it's not. It's not attached to the ground. Ah. Wait, if it... If they're seeking missiles, then my lord. I wonder how the Rhinox got them. Also, like, they go from using magic to, like, actual weaponry. How does that happen? Like, what is going on in the Spyro universe, man? Kind of scary if you think about it. Goodbye, Shark Boy. I'm still looking for more seaweed and mainly just collecting the gems while I'm at it, but, you know. Ready to try. Yeah, if you get hit once, you die, but that, that's stupid. Wait, did all the seaweed spawn back? Also, why did that really take that many shots to actually hit the specific seaweed? Are you serious? It's going through the seaweed now. Ay, ay, ay. Sometimes this game can be a real troll. Yeah, let's make sure we destroy everything this time. We don't want any survivors. I love how that technically spawned back too, just because we didn't collect the gem that was in it. Are you serious? Try not to get hit. Ready to try not to get hit, Spyro. If you get hit, you'll lose. Well, screw you, Hunter. I'm trying to do other stuff, and that guy shot me without warning. Die already, you fool! Like, why do they get like heat-seeking missiles, and I get random? balls of electricity looking stuff. I don't even get actual missiles. I get knockoff missiles. I get wish brand missiles. Like, come on, game. Give me real missiles. Hardcore destroy shark kind of missiles, not wuspus missiles. Thank you very much. Man, how many seaweeds are in here exactly? Oh god, he's gonna shoot me, isn't he? Yep, there it is! There we go, there's our skill point. Sheesh! Oh, and then the gem stayed behind up here. Ugh, ugh. Ugh. 
goodbye, shark man. But there was eight sharks in here, really? I don't remember there being eight sharks in here. I really don't. There was only six. Oh wait, there's more gems up here. Uh oh. Why are these guys shooting missiles a lot more frequently? Ah, missile. There we go. Nice shooting, comrade. Where'd you learn to aim like that? Oh, by the way, Bianca wanted me to give you this egg. She says she accidentally turned it into a woolly mammoth for five minutes, but it should still be okay. Comrade Sadie. I know lots of Sadies. But that's the last of the eggs. And Sparks is pointing up here for the gems. And that's all the gems. Nice. Now we can leave the level. Woohoo! So, oh, let's just leave now. Anyways, I guess we can start doing the outro. So if you guys enjoyed this video, remember to leave a like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications, join the Discord and Patreon in the links below, and in the next episode, we will be doing probably Crystal Islands, and if that goes quickly, then the Speedway level. So, hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time. And yeah, we don't get any gems because Moneybag stole them all. Bye bye